Let's take a look how to make this 3D Chrome text pattern here in After Effects. Let's start a new composition, rename it 3D. I'm gonna go with 1080p, 8 second black background, click OK. Select the type tool and write your name and I'm gonna write it two times. So I'm gonna add space and I'm gonna press Ctrl A, Ctrl C, add another one and I'm gonna go and delay these, something like in this nature. I'm gonna select both. I'm gonna press Ctrl A, Ctrl C, press the right arrow, enter, Ctrl V, enter, Ctrl V again, and I'm just gonna arrange it. And I'm thinking to go with uh, this panther were to be in the center. I'm also gonna press and hold Ctrl, double click on the pen behind. So the anchor point is gonna jump here in the center. I'm gonna press the letter S and scale it. Let's go and activate the 3D here. If you don't have this option, you can go here to this menu and select Advanced 3D. Let's go and open up geometrical options here and let's go to the bevel style, change it to angular. Bevel depth is going to be 1.5 and the extrusion depth, I'm going to go all the way to 1000. Now let's go to the material options, open it up, scroll down and make sure the metallic is on 100%. Specular shininess, I'm going to increase to 100. And also make sure that the cast shadows is turned on right here. Now I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to close this layer and open it up again so I can see this animate button here. Click on it and click on enable per character 3D. And let's go back, select all transform properties. And here we got the range selector one, open it up. We're going to go with the start. I'm going to add 50%. And let's go to animator one, add selector and select wiggly. Let's go and open it up the wiggly selector one. Go to intersect, change it to min. Then here we got the wiggle seconds. I'm going to decrease it to 0.5. Scroll down, lock dimensions on, random seed 6. And let's go here to the anchor points and I'm going to increase this to 150. So pretty much this is it. You know, if you hit play, the letters are going to move and pretty much they are going to go back and forth. But right now it's not that visible. So because of that, we're going to go to the layer, go to new and select camera. And I'm going to go with 15 millimeters, click OK. And now as you can see, it came alive. Also make sure that you're on active camera, of course. And not but least, we're going to need to fix the lights. So we're going to go back to the layer, new, and select the light. Here, I'm going to go with the environment. Make sure to check cast shadows and click OK. And now you can see the extrusion got some really good shading. Now you also can modify the light source by going to transform, open it up. And here we got the X and Y rotation. And all you need to do is increase these or decrease them. And this way it's going to adjust the HDRI light. To be honest, I don't like this because it's not working on a pattern text like this. So instead, I'm going to go and drag and drop an HDRI with a sunset. By the way, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can download it. And I'm going to drag and drop here in the layers. And it looks something like this. I'm going to uncheck it. And let's go to the environment lights and go to source default and change it to the new Belfast Sunset 4K. And here I'm going to go back to the X rotation, change it to 70. And I'm going to go to the Y rotation, change it to 170. Hit play and this is how I make this 3D Chrome text pattern here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.